good times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? The hell we gonna- Okay, welcome back to the channel So today we're gonna be reviewing Probably one of the best handheld scanners You can actually get to carry with you on your BMW Now, a lot of you guys always ask me all the time which scanner you should buy, what's the best handheld scanner, what's the cheapest handheld scanner, and what's the best one to actually carry with you when you get a light when you're out on the road. Now this is a common problem, and I advise people all the time, especially if you own a BMW, actually any car, to carry a handheld scanner in your glove box. For two reasons. One, if it gets stolen, it hasn't cost you much. Two, if you get a code and your car goes into limp mode, you can actually clear it to actually get you home and then until you can repair the problem. So then that way you don't have to worry about having a breakdown cover or anything like that. So we're gonna go out and I'm gonna review this new scan tool that was sent to me and it is gonna be a very good scan tool because the name alone is something that I already use their products already. So this one I am gonna recommend, it will be in the link below. Now I know a lot of you guys have seen me that I've already reviewed a handheld scanner and told a lot of you guys to buy it and a lot of you have come back saying it's not working for your car. Well, this one will be another one you can go and buy which will work on your car. And I know it will, as I know many people already have the scanner and it works faultlessly for them. So I'll put it in the link below, let's get onto the video. So as you'll see here guys, we're now back in the M5. As I told you guys, the E53 wasn't really for a channel car. We've done a few videos on it, but I don't tend to keep that going any longer. Um, we do have the M5 right here, and we're gonna be using this to show how the scanner works on it. I think this is probably a good car actually to actually use the scanner on because as you know, these cars get more foot codes than any others. So therefore there's no point trying to use it on a reliable diesel engine or an E53 when it doesn't really get many codes. But yes, we are in the M5. We're gonna go ahead and plug it up. And I just wanna show you guys that the M5 is still here and we are gonna be making a lot more videos on it still to come. So the scanner is here, guys. This is the one we're gonna be showing you and showing you how it all works. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, this looks exactly the same like the one I showed before. You're actually correct, it does, but that's because a lot of handheld scanners do look alike. But this one, do not underestimate it, it is nothing like the other one. And this one will work for all cars. And as you'll see, it has got a lot on it. It's still packaged. This was sent to me by the company. I will put the link below so you guys can go and buy it. It's not actually expensive. I think it's around 50 pound, maybe less than that in the US. I'm not too sure. Something you have to check on your Amazon links. But I know their products are very good. And if you see their name, which is Top Dom, Top Dom are very well known. They make a lot of... Um, battery chargers they make a lot of jump packs they make a lot of diagnostic cables they make a lot of um, battery testing kits as well which many people have got including me nathan and other youtubers so they're very well established in the game so i don't see this product going to be an absolute failure this is going to be my go-to glove box scanner which i'm going to carry with me everywhere now another little device and it's cheap so if it gets lost or broken here i haven't really lost out on it if we flip over to the back, you'll see all the stuff it can do. So it says all 10 OBD2 modes for most 96 and newer vehicles. OBD2 in can. Read and erase codes. Switch off the check engine light. Patented one-click readiness test status for smog test, which is good for a lot of you in the US. Live data in graphic format, easy to monitor and evaluate. Freeze frame retrieval, view the records in malfunction. Quickly get VIN cin and cvn information as you see it's got a lead light it's got a code library which i suppose is very good for a lot of people instead of looking up what your code is this will tell you what it is as you see there define the retrieved code no more code googling record and replay check the diagnostic records anytime anywhere pc print hard copy data access the data in printed form and this as you see there it's multi-language as well English, French, Japanese, German, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. So it's available in all languages. So if any of you want to go and buy it, you'll be able to change it over to your language. So it makes it easy for every single person to be able to use and be able to go and buy. So we're going to go ahead and just open this now. This isn't too hard to open this. You see there, it's just got the little tabs that you've got to pull apart. And as you see there, it does open up very easily. And then the OBD, you'll see this is the USB right here as well for it, which if you want to plug it into your computer. But there's the handheld scanner right there. Now it's got the screen protector on it as well. We're going to go ahead and plug this into the car. It's actually very, very light as well. It doesn't weigh, it weighs next to nothing. This is extremely light and extremely useful. 
um, to actually have. It's very light compared to the other one. Um, we're going to plug it in now. A lot of you are asking, oh, there's no power button. No, I think that's correct. This powers from the OBD port, of course. It gives it power. There's obviously a power wire inside here, which will give the power to it. And as you see there, it's even got a torch on it. So to find your OBD port if you need to, you can see right there, which way it goes very, very handy as well. It's got the torch, which is very, very bright. LED light, as you see. Press it. I actually like that. It's very cool. Very cool feature. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and plug it in and we'll start using the top don art link 500 scanner okay so of course the first thing you're going to want to do is locate your obd port on your car which my one sits right down here so you're just going to want to pull that open then you're going to want to pull your obd cover out if you've got one and you're obviously going to want to locate that otherwise you ain't going to be able to use the obd reader whatsoever so therefore you need to find your obd port it's different it varies car to car yours might be something located in another place there's many cars ford for instance is located um in the same side like this but a lot of fools change now pull it hidden newer cars will be hidden as well due for security reasons a lot of you have a dummy just there and it'll be hidden in your glove box or vice versa for to stop cars being stolen via the obd port so just bear that in mind yours might be in a different location to where this one is so there's no point messages saying is your one located in the same place because if you've got a different car it will be different so we're just going to plug the obd cable straight into here so it goes like that way it goes goes the other way which is what I thought straight in there and as you see the scanner has life so now the scanner has life what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the ignition on so we've got that on right there and then what we're gonna do is we're now we're gonna go through the options on the scanner itself so as you see there we've got diagnosed I am look up and everything else so we're just gonna click OK on diagnose now it's doing processing now a lot of you will probably think this is a reminds you of the last one I actually reviewed and showed you and a lot of you went and bought. It looks the same but it's not the same so we're going to just click OK on that. And we've got here read code so as you see here it's a lot more different. We can do an O2 sensor test and it's a lot more easy to use as well this one. As you can see there you've got the EVAP system which you can test as well. Let's give that a go. Okay so my one don't support it because we don't have that one here so we just go back how do we go back on this so we go back here onboard monitoring see what that one's got in there we can call the data there vehicle information it's got all the VIN number and everything like that we've got all the IM readiness as you see there it's got everything there as well so it tells you all the information the right there so we just exit that one let's go back up see what else we got here if we read the codes and the car has no faults which we know that anyway mine five doesn't have any faults this was just basically to show you but as you see there it is quite a good scanner it's actually got quite a few good things and it's actually i like the nice layout anyway it's a lot more nicer than the other one that i actually showed this one's a lot more laid out a lot nicer very easy and portable it's got a green light there telling you no dtcs which is very very handy and a lot of you will think that's the on because the power is not you see there green means no dtcs yellow means pending ddc red means permanent dtc which means trouble codes diagnostic trouble codes to be precise but this one doesn't have any we're just going to go through what else we've got here on here so if we click the help um, we can do go down or you can do misfire monitor and it supports it so that's good to know we've got quite a lot of good things in here which i'm quite shocked about freeze frame very good let's exit that one as well we'll click ok we've got review set up look up so we can look up codes p000 and you can put your code in there and it'll tell you what it is so that's very good to have info that's all your software version in case you have to update the software on it uh, that's something you will know when you actually get the scanner by the version compared to what the manufacturers of the latest version you go to set up here you can change the language you've got the beeper unit of measure um, you've got the print there right there as well in case as i said to you you want to print out your trouble codes to get a clearer picture of it or take it anywhere you've got review here you can review the dtc the data stream 
freeze frame data, you can view it all. So all in all, it is actually a good scanner, I would say, and very good to carry around with you. Like I said, do not go buy mine not having no codes. This car doesn't have any fault codes anyway, so that's why um won't be showing up any but i don't really have any cars with a fault code this is why when these companies actually send me these it's quite stupid to send me them um for cars which i don't have any fault codes i mean if it does have fault codes it probably would work and it will probably show them i mean it's not not going to show it i mean if it's got a serious fault code this scanner will pick it up and will show you it it might not be in as much detail as genuine dealer software but then if you're on the road you ain't concerned about scanning it to try and fix the problem there and then. You're more concerned about getting home or getting to a garage and fixing the problem when you actually stop. So this scanner is actually good to actually carry in your glove box just to reset the check engine like a Gellit at limp mode, especially if you've got an M5 or any kind of motor motorsport car. It'll be a good scanner just to carry around just so it can get you home. So, I mean, all in all, it is actually a good scanner. You know, you're not going to use it to do your whole basic things. If, for instance, I've got Easter and that, but if that's at home, carry this, reset my light, or if I'm out, for instance, taking it for a test run, and next thing something comes on, I know I can reset it and get myself back home and then sort the problem. But I'm not going to carry my laptop, my icon, my maxi system with me everywhere I go and then reset it when I can just carry this easy portable reset and go and leave it like this plugged into the car. So if you do have an issue with your car and you need to get it somewhere, I would advise you just to go and buy one of these scanners keep it with you in your car and just keep resetting the code i know many people that are doing that in the us at the moment because they the way to, to get around their problem to because they can't afford to fix their car at the moment which is fine if you can't afford to fix it use one of these scanners clear your lip mode and just use it just the best you can just to get your car from a to b for now at least and this scanner will actually do that because you know you've got the option to erase the codes as you saw there when we click diagnose you see that we can erase codes but we've got nothing to erase and so we're not going to erase anything but if you do have codes or it doesn't show a code, even if your car doesn't actually show the code in there, but you have got an engine management light, you will still be able to erase it just by clicking erase codes. It doesn't have to show it to be able to erase it. So all in all, it is a good scanner and Top Don are a very, very good manufacturer. As you guys probably seen, you've probably seen me use my battery checker, which actually checks the battery to see if they're dead or good. And it's a Top Don one as well. I do recommend this scanner. It's a very good scanner. And for a glove box scanner, just to be able to turn off codes and reset your light, it's a very good scan of just for that but anything else obviously it's not going to be as efficient as ista it's not going to be as efficient as an Autel max system but for what it does for a cheap for a cheap it is and how little it does the problem it's very easy to carry around then you don't have to worry about it getting stolen lost damaged because it ain't, it ain't going to be like a 500 dollar 500 pound scanner that you know you're going to lose out on okay so as you've seen now i've just shown you the top don rt link 500 handheld scanner as i've said it's not showing any codes because my cars don't have fault codes. So when these people send me scanners, I don't know what cars they think I'm dealing in. That they must be thinking I'm dealing in right, right pieces of crap that are completely broken that are going to have loads of codes. Even if they did, this scanner wouldn't be able to do everything I needed to do. It is good to have as an emergency scanner in a glove box for if you're out doing a test drive, doing a test run, just to get you back home, as I've said, and just to keep you moving. But I wouldn't advise to use this on a daily basis, constantly, and constantly for your every single job. Because these kind of scanners are the kind of scanners that will run your head around rings and not give you the correct fault codes, and therefore your car will never be fixed properly. Because it will give you one fault code, for instance, as many people I see all the time on the M52s, is they'll use these scanners and they'll get a camshaft correlation code, and that's all they'll be stuck with, with a P0141. No, that, that is actually for the vanos solenoids, but if they use ISTA or Autel, it would actually tell them that. But these scanners do not tell you that, and these are the kind of scanners that will run your head around rings, so it's good for raising codes and resetting the EML light, but it's not good to constantly use on a daily basis. So therefore, I'm only gonna put this down as a provisional scanner and only to use it to get you home and to get you out of limp mode. So I hope this is gonna actually help a lot of you guys. And if you do want a handheld scanner just to carry with you, just to reset a light, or if you test drive cars, this is a good scanner just to take with you. So thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.